Welcome to the final video of 2020. I almost can't believe we made it here. Don't worry, I'll be back in early January. But in this video, I'm going to show you a great little trick that's going to give you tool tips for your shapes and even your buttons. Although I don't recommend it for buttons, and you'll see why in a moment. So here we have the best worksheet ever. And I've got a button. Hover over it, and it'll tell you don't listen to the question mark. Hover over the question mark. Click me to forget 2020. <laughs> so this is a great little trick where you can right click any shape and go to hyperlink. Let's remove the link first. So if I remove the link, there will be no tool tip now, just regular shape. So right click it and go to link. It's a little bit different for this menu depending on your version of Excel. Link or hyperlink. And in the window that pops up, go to the upper right corner, screen tip. And here put whatever you want. Hit OK. And have a cell reference in the current worksheet. And then hit OK. Click away. Hover over the shape. And now we have our tooltip, whatever you want. However, in this case, if I click it, it's now going to go to the cell that I selected, A1. You could have it so it goes to the cell underneath the shape if you wanted, or a cell that's underneath a bigger shape so you don't really see the selected cell. But in a moment, I'll show you a way to make it so that you don't have to have it select a cell. And if you ever want to edit the tooltip, just right-click and go to Edit Link, Screen Tip, and Edit Your Screen Tip. Hit OK, OK, and you're done. Remember, right-click, Remove Link to get rid of it. You can do the exact same thing with a button. But the problem with the button, the reason that I have it set up like this, where I have a little question mark next to it to indicate that, hey, maybe I'm going to give you some information if you click me or hover over me, is because when you do this with a button or any shape, if you then assign it to a macro, it's not going to run the macro properly or at all. There are some workarounds you can find online, but I find that they either don't work very well or require way too much effort to get this simple little thing to work. So my solution for it is have the little question mark to the right and add the tooltip that way. And to get the question mark, by the way, it's really easy. Same for the button. Go to Insert, Illustrations, and Shapes Rounded Rectangle for the button or icons for the question mark. The icons are really a great way to make your spreadsheet much better. Just type question, and you're going to get a bunch of options for the question mark. Double click, and you get a question mark. Resize it, change the color if you want here on the graphics format tab, and all is good. Now let me show you the really cool way to do it. So I've included in this workbook a macro. And here is the macro. And what it's going to do is allow you to add the tooltip to any shape that you have selected, or in this case, for every shape that you have selected. But it will not go to anywhere. So the address is left blank, basically. And if I go back to the spreadsheet now, I click the question mark. I hit Alt F8 to run the macro and run Add Tooltip. We get the input box, input a tooltip for the selected shapes. Here is my tooltip. OK. Click away, hover over it. Here is my tooltip. How cool is that? I love this little trick. So feel free to download the file, and I hope that you have had a wonderful, or at least a passable, 2020. We can only hope that next year will be better. But I want to thank you immensely for watching my videos, especially through this very tough time. So thank you very much. And have an amazing holiday season, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. I'll see you again in January.